Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Treehouse Brewing. They're out of Monson, Massachusetts. This is their Julius. And that's an IPA, guys, coming in at 6.8%. I don't have the IBUs listed here. I don't think it's on the can anywhere here. I do not see it listed on here. But, it does have a date. Uh... Keep cold, uh, January 6th of 2016. So, pretty damn fresh uh, for somebody that can't get these beers here. This was sent to me by Matt. Uh, he sent me a nice beer round package the other day. I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, from what I hear, everything that you sent me is uh, pretty pretty well sought after beers. So, uh, wish I could get some of these beers that are available in other parts of the country, but. Uh, this doesn't work that way, guys. <laughs> uh, let's get on with this one. I don't want it to be a 30-minute beer review. Uh, commercial description here says, Bursting with 3.5 pounds per barrel of pungent American hops, Julius is loaded with notes of passion fruit, mango, and citrus. A soft, pillowy mouthfeel and rounded bitterness makes Julius very, very easy to drink. You've been warned. Ah. Uh. And uh, the uh, food pairs for this beer is going to be your typical IPA food pairs, guys. I say this on every IPA. Uh, the curry and your ties, your uh, uh, dishes, and uh, the meat is, I mean, the uh, cheeses are your stronger cheeses. Gorgonzola, Limburger, Pepper Jack, Sharp, Blue, Cheddar. Uh, and the meat is game, grilled meat, and uh, salmon. Uh, Pretty typical of, uh, of it, but that's just suggestions, guys. Whatever you'd like to eat and drink together, that's what you should do. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, you shouldn't pair that together. If you like it, tell them, go jump to the lake. I'll do what I want to do. All right, let's get on with this one, guys. Uh, this beer is an IPA. Uh, you shouldn't sell it. And the glass bar is a pint, Becker, Nautic, Tumbler, Mug, Sign, Sidell. I got my favorite glass, the Sovereign Beer Glass, and this is a big beer, it's a 16 ouncer. Not to share, well, I probably will. Maybe, she's nice. Looks like orange juice coming out, maybe that's why they call it orange, uh, Julius. Maybe it's orange Julius, you think? I don't know. Been one of them days, guys. About a finger of head. Very cloudy. I mean, it is very cloudy. It does, it looks like. It looks like a cross between an orange and a grapefruit juice in there. Very, very cloudy. A deep uh, orange color. Hmm, rather interesting. It may be a, a can conditioned or an unfiltered beer. So let's get a nose on this one. Ooh. Massive hop aroma. Wow, very citrusy, just like the description says, mango, passion fruit, maybe some pineapple in there. Big hot profile on this, this smells pretty damn awesome. Wow, wow. From what I read, a lot of people, a whole lot of people love this beer and try to get their hands on this beer. Wow. Wonderful, awesome citrusy aroma on this beer, guys. It's that time. Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Matt. Thank you. Wow, a little dankness to it, too. Wow. That's 
awesome. That's freaking awesome. I do wish I could get this beer here. This beer is awesome. You would sit in the fridge all the time. Wow. Blowing my hair back. Blowing my socks off. That's pretty impressive. Wow. That's delicious. This is a hop head lover's dream beer here. This is delicious, guys. It's only 6.8%. So it's uh, not a double IPA or an imperial IPA. A very well-made beer. Not getting any of that alcohol. And the... Uh, the juiciness of the the orange mango citrusiness of it is off the chain. It is it is awesome. Wow, that's very tasty. Well, let me pour her some and uh, take it back and sip on it for a little bit and see what it ends up. Right now, it's definitely an A beer. Let's see if it climbs to the top of the A category. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left here. Let's sip another. Probably about 30, 35 minutes or so. The other half loved it, and I do too. Uh, the hot profile on this is intense, guys. It's it's really, really tasty. Uh, like I said earlier, if I could get my hands on this beer here, I would buy it all the time, and I would buy probably buy it by the case. Uh, this is just as good as a not. It's not a double IPA, but it's just as tasty as a Stone Enjoy by to me. Uh, it ranks right up there with the. The Pliny and the Heady Topper and, and all those sought after, hard to get, stand in line kind of beers, guys. So uh, if you're in the uh, the Massachusetts area where this is produced, uh, feel lucky because uh, this is a very, very enjoyable uh, IPA. It's 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 awesome. So let's do the final chug here. Wow, the hop aroma on this is just. Unbelievable. Wow. I am so glad I have the subscribers that I do to send me these awesome beers. World class beers. Final chug. Wow. That is delicious, guys. It's a 10 for me. Alcohol is on the can of what the ABV is. The date's on the bottom of the can. Very easy to read. Very well done. Very nicely done. 10 for me. Excellent. Most excellent. Over to uh, Beer Advocate, they say 100 world, world class. And over to Red Beer, they say 100 overall and 100 in the style. 100, 100, 100, and 100 for me, guys. Definitely worth picking up if you can get your hands on it. I don't know what the distribution is. It does not come here. I got a feeling that this disappears off the shelf or even off the truck when it backs in uh, the day that it shows up. Uh, this is awesome. Very tasty. Uh, Matt, thanks again, brother, for sending this to me. I'm looking forward to the other three beers that you sent me. Uh, I know they're just... He sent me the green, which is uh, also from Treehouse. Uh, Another beer that uh, has rave reviews, and uh, the other two from Farm Hill. I've had a couple from them, and they've been exceptionally well made. So, four beers that are probably world class, more than likely. So, feel pretty lucky. Real lucky. Well, if you've had this one from Treehouse, this is uh, Julius. Uh, let me know what you think. I thought it was freaking awesome, guys. Very tasty. Well, that wraps it up. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you then.